Uh, this is a uh, illustration 57th based on TPC 12th. So I suggest that before you uh, like go through the solution of this question, you listen solution to illustration 56 because in illustration 56 we derived a result that we are going to use in this solution. So I recommend that I suggest that you go to uh, illustration 56 and listen that first. Now in illustration 57 we have to find sum of five digit numbers that can be formed with the help of these five digits. Now if you follow this approach that we learned in the last question sum of five digit numbers equals to total numbers that we can form total numbers divided by sum of digits uh, divided by number of digits multiply with sum of digits multiplied with one 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 five times because we have to form sum of our digit numbers now in this case if we just follow this approach we'll get sum of if we follow this we will get sum of sum of five digit numbers plus sum of four digit numbers because see in this case we are assuming if we apply this formula it means we are treating zero and non-zero digits equally means in the first place zero can come equal number of times as one and two and three and four can come whereas zero cannot come at first place that's ten thousand place because we have to make a five digit number if zero comes in the first place like this it becomes a four digit number like this so we, we so if we assume if you apply this formula we are assuming zero as non-zero and if you assume zero as non-zero we'll get if this formula will give us some of five digit numbers and some of four digit numbers right that can be formed using one two three four some of four digit numbers using one two three four now we will apply this formula we'll get this and this and then from that we subtract this part we need to subtract this part so let's do this we apply this formula total number total numbers that can be formed with the help of these five digits five factorial we are assuming zero as non-zero we are assuming zero can come at the first place divided by number of digits five into sum of digits into some of the place values so this is give this this will give us some of five digit numbers plus sum of four digit numbers as we discussed before this now we need to subtract sum of four digit numbers that can be formed using one two three four that is uh, those numbers that we formed here and zero came in the first digit as a first digit so we are subtracting the sum and how are we going to do this we follow the same approach number of numbers that can be formed with the help of these four digits that is four factorial divide by the number of digits four sum of the digits and sum of the place values four times one will come four times this time because we have to make a four digit number so you can now see this minus this is the answer this minus sum of four digit numbers as well as five digit numbers minus sum of four digit numbers will give us sum of five digit numbers